Let me just turn that down. This is uh, GTV News for Gamers, and uh, this is probably the first time you're actually hearing my voice, because up until now all I've been doing is like gameplay videos, and I, I'm, I don't want to be known as a guy who just does gameplay videos, so that's boring. So anyway, uh, there's Sonic, he's not relevant to what we're talking about. Uh, what we're talking about is my diminutive, but very, uh, well I, th I think it's a good collection of NES games. Yes, this is a video about my NES collection. I wanted to do my PlayStation collection, but I thought I would be coming off as some sort of PlayStation fanboy. And I would hate to be able as a fanboy, because I fucking hate fanboys. So, without further ado, I'm going to get these games down here, one by one. And yeah, we're going to talk about them. So, to get started, I thought I'd talk about, um... Kid Icarus, the NES classic. Uh, this is actually a game that I got off a friend a long time ago. And, you know, for what it is, it is a classic and it's extremely difficult. <sighs> Those freaking Reapers, man. But, uh, yeah, it's enjoyable. Oh, Daddy East. And you know what they say, Daddy East plus NES equals complete crap, but, uh, Bad Dudes isn't that bad. It's not really that good, but not really that bad either. Super glove ball. Oh man, I actually have the power glove that goes with this. this when, I, when I bought my power glove, this one, the games I bought with it, and the other one, Bat Street Brawler, I traded it in. Uh, this game makes my arms so sore. Can't play it for more than like 10 minutes, but look at this awesome cover art. You got like, like a wizard, and, like metallic gloves, like a dragon. Pinball, you're like shooting the ball into the wizard's face. Yeah, the ball's going into the wizard's face. Just look at that Power Glove Gaming series in neon. I mean, come on, that's awesome. Next, we got the Magic of Shurizade. Shurizade. I don't know, I pronounce it Shurizade, I don't care. Uh, again, great covered art. Um, Culture Brain. Not really a well-known company in video games, but they were around in the NES days. Uh, it's an Arabian-themed RPG, so it's sort of like uh, the Arabian Nights. Uh, I like the castle and like the dragon thing in the background. It's true. And here we have the infamous A Boy in His Blob by David Green, subtitled Trouble on Blah Blah Blah. Uh, Anyway, uh, made by Absolute Entertainment, who also, didn't they make that home improvement game for the Super Nintendo? I don't know, I'd have to check. But anyway, this game is good. That game sucked so hard. But this game is actually a really innovative game. And if you haven't tried the Wii remake of this by WayForward, I suggest you go and try the Wii remake, because it's, it's spectacular. Up next, we have Magmax from FCI. This is another game with cool kind of sci-fi 80s cover art. This looks like, like a comic book or sci-fi magazine cover or something. Uh, I picked this up for like, I don't know, like three bucks. And it's not really a good game. But, you know, there's plenty of uh, better, I mean worse, <laughs> crap in the NES library. <coughs> Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I'm sorry. Here we have Dino Wars, the destruction of Spondylus. And I think this is another cool uh, cover. It's got like the purple like space rocks and the weird like rainbow atmosphere. The guy in the metal suit and like look at that, he's he's shooting through a, like a space dinosaur's like throat or something or neck. That guy is badass. That's something straight out of a Roger Corman movie. That'd be awesome. Oh, Ninja Gaiden, how I love thee. Um, this one's kind of beat up on the labels and stuff. Uh, yeah. But I got it for like 10 bucks at a game store. So it's not that bad of a deal. I, I really do wish it was in better shape, but I've actually got games that are in worse shape than this. But hey, it's Ninja Gaiden. It's a classic. What can you do? Nothing more to be said. Dragon Power, this is one of the strangest games on the NES, because this is actually a port or a 
American remake of the first Dragon Ball game for the Famicom. And Goku is like given a weird headband and like his hair is completely painted out. But you can still recognize characters like Bulma and Master Roshi. Well, I think Master Roshi was changed though, but not too sure. But it's essentially a Dragon Ball game and it's, it's not really a good game, but I, I got it mostly for completion's sake and to say that I have the American remake of Dragon Ball for the Famicom.